all the magic is underneath, not on the top. 5.2 liter V8 Magnum Pro Charge, 5 speed LS Tranny, reforged pistons, coming straight out of the headers, performance like headers, pistons, better fuel, fuel injectors, better pulleys, new radiators. Really? Yep. Where's the Pro Charger? Pro Chargers ran right down there. YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the freaking channel. So, uh, today we are going to, uh, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff, but what do you think, baby? You gonna come with me? Yeah. It is beautiful out. And uh, so we're gonna work on this trailer. Uh, we got the first uh, the first things done. I picked up this trailer so we could do that give back uh, that we just did for thank. Hang on, baby, hang on, baby. For Thanksgiving, uh, we did that. And now it is time to get this thing all cleaned up, get it all logoed up. Uh, I put some locks on this, uh, some latches on this door because it was a little bit loose. I found out that the door frame was cracked, so we made that. So now I'm going to start working on, come back here baby. Uh, I got a whole bin of stuff I'm going to show you guys on how to take this and turn this into an actual uh, efficient, easy to strap down car hauling trailer for my Lambo for the Civic, for a lot of things. Stay tuned, we might even be putting a super huge <laughs> <laughs> All right, first things first, we gotta get this thing empty. Hey baby, get these boxes out. Hurry, Bud's coming over to help. Hurry. Okay. So All right, so we made a decision of 64 inches. That is center to center on my Lamborghini wheels. On the slicks on the Civic, it is also 64 to dead center. What do you got? Or 82. 82. Okay. Math. We're gonna need a calculator. So we also need to figure out where we want them. Well, so that that's the other thing. You could shift them over a little bit so you have some room on the driver's door to get out. A hair. Doesn't have to be a lot, but. Yeah, because we do need to get out of the driver's door. And depending on where your car ends up, with those wheel wells being as high as they are, that might be right in your door. You might yep. not be opening your door at all. Correct. So the other issue is, I don't quite know, trailering-wise, if we're going to have to back in or pull forward. I'm going to plan to just pull forward and probably put the motor directly. Yeah, no, okay. the car is going to have to be all the way up front because rear engine. Yeah, stupid car with rear engine. <laughs> Silly rear engine cars. So the cars. next car I buy has to have a rear engine. Good to know. So the Ventador is a rear engine, right? How do you think a would fit? I think we could pull this with the limo. So here's our, here's our setup so far. Uh, we got drill bits. We've got batteries. We've got whatever these things are. We've got all these tracks. It's about 800 bucks worth of stuff. They do not give this crap away. Oh, look at that, dude. <laughs> Man, I was thinking ahead. Uh, we've got straps, we got wheel over. We're gonna check these to make sure these are what I think they are. Um, should we put them in? Yeah, just, we got everything we need except for the knowledge on it. Okay. So now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Okay. Second so, question: Are you gonna go any further back? I have two footers as well. So far, so good. So we decided to go. Geez, that thing's sweet. So we decided to go uh, dead center down the wheels and uh, of the Lambo, and then anything else I haul just needs to be uh, a Lambo, I guess. And uh, we are well on our way. Now we head underneath the trailer, put wing nuts on, 
You gotta hit this, the, the frame on some of these so we don't rip the floor up. So that's what we're gonna do now, the 16 inch on center. The trailer is built perfectly and then uh, we just need to get it undercoated. So let's see if we can get these actually strapped in here. That looks nice, it looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, good fool me. Yeah. Try that. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so with these things, um, you do want to catch on the frame. You, hit, you do want to catch on the frame uh, at least for like four to six bolts per tie down, especially the ones that are going to be like the major tie downs that are actually holding the car all the time. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is it's really tight under here. All right, so you guys have seen underneath, it is, uh, we got some snow last night. I forgot all these boxes out here. Dang it. Uh, so, when buying a trailer, uh, there's a couple things going on here. So we got the E-Tracks, we're, we're getting those put in. Uh, but it's one of the things to look at when you're buying uh, an enclosed trailer, if you don't wanna lose money on an enclosed trailer, is finding one, obviously it's not rusted, with uh, the aluminum sides, you will get, uh, see this little corrosion down here? As little of that as you can find, but stuff that has like cosmetic issues that isn't damaged. So like this has, you can see this like hazy, uh, I'm having a detailer come out, clean that, buff that clay bar today. I don't wanna put too much money here just in case I don't decide to keep this trailer. And then I'm gonna have someone undercoat the whole trailer and then stuff like this, just repainting this, um, wiping it down, sanding it down a little bit, and then fixing all of these little spots where uh, any of your panelings coming off uh, this trailer one thing I did see on this when I bought it uh, obviously you want to make sure they don't leak this one has uh, one panel that it popped so I'm gonna rivet this together obviously this is a seamless doesn't have or not seamless but doesn't have rivets or screws on the actual panels but right here I got a little issue so we're gonna I'm gonna seal this up and I will put some rivets in there then if I do decide to keep it, we're gonna do something super cool with it. Uh, but back to the E-Tracks. So when installing these E-Tracks, you wanna figure out kind of a, a ballpark of what uh, what vehicles you're gonna have in it, and then you wanna plan accordingly. So for me, I do know that that car is obviously mid-engine. So there's a lot of weight in the back. So you wanna take that into consideration. You wanna take length of car into consideration, and then the width of the tires. So I measured the width of my tires in the rear where they're wider from Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Ugh. From center to center. Now, when I get out of my car, I'm gonna pull my car in forward. So when I get out of my car, I need to have a little more room on the, what would be the left side of the trailer when you're looking into the trailer. So I'm setting my dead center of my E-Tracks to the right side. So here is, we've got one of the sets of E-Tracks in and I went full length, so we just have way more options. Uh, and I do know that I'm gonna be pulling the car all the way up, and I am gonna have a toolbox up here. We got some turkeys to go get rid of. Uh, but I am gonna have a toolbox up here, and I still need to have room to get in my door, come in. So what you'll see here is I bought these kits. These are just from Menards. Uh, so this is a, for a 24 inch X-Track E-Track. That's a 24 inch, and then they have them for 60 inch. My rears are two footers. These little ones are, uh, are two foot, and then these are five foot. Now, you see the difference. See these? These ones have these wing nut deals on them. And uh, let's see. So I started these ones right here. These ones are, each kit comes with these, and then they come with some wood, like wood gripping ones like uh, here, like these right here. Let me show you. So there's these, 
And these ones are obviously, these are for setting it. So you can get them all lined up, all perfectly lined up, and then you'll take and you will do uh, the other ones with these. I think they say to use a 5 8 and then to drill this and drop this down in with it on your screw. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, so I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is we pre-drilled them all and then I went under there obviously as you saw, set these on there. My buddy screwed them down from the inside. It's all good. Now, you want to hit the frame with some of these because you either need to put bracing under the trailer or because if you just go through the plywood and the plywood's not attached to your, uh, to your framework, you're going to have some major issues. So what we did is I'm using these. No, not those, not those. Here we go. Okay, so here's what I'm using. These are like three inch or three and a quarter inch. Nice big hex head self-tapping screws. And then what I do is my, my framework is 16 inches on center. So as soon as I find one, I try to, in each of these five foot, I get at least three sets of self-tappers in. Into the frame, these things are gonna be absolutely as solid as possible. And then I'm gonna measure off and then I'm gonna put this run into and then down at the end I gotta go pick up one more piece gotta go pick up more fasteners and then in the end there's these little plastic plugs I will show you those shortly because I don't have them yet uh, and then that'll keep so when you pull in um, it, your car doesn't scrape on it I'm putting a Lambo in here so I just ordered race ramps last night I can't wait to get them I've, I've always had just wooden ones and um, they're not the same because they're wood and they're super heavy so I ordered real race ramps I'm so excited. I'm hoping that it gets my trailer level up and then uh, we'll be good to go. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to go get the rest of the parts. We're going to get the rest of these E-Tracks installed and I'm going to show you exactly how they work. And then I'm going to show you um, what I decided to go with for strapping down. I'm not sure how this is going to work on this huge wheel, but we're going to try it out. Okay, so here's how it's going to go. Obviously, you're going to pull in. The wheel will not be on the inside like this because uh, that would mean that would not be good. We have our wheel. Let's pretend there's a truck hooked to this. We have our wheel. Now, these are this is the strap system I went with. Uh, for simplicity, these, uh, these bad boys, these are just off Amazon. I'll put a link in here. Um, but here's how they're gonna go. This comes all the way over your wheel. Go straight down, as close as you can get to straight down. Locked in, locked and loaded. But this comes down, this goes straight down. So your pivot point is directly below. And you gotta do the clip side first, slide it back, drop your clip. And then, so that where your bumper sits, obviously you're gonna have the bumper of your vehicle, your truck, your car, whatever. And, oh, see, this is going to be, I don't have enough room. I didn't set this up right, but uh, maybe I will. So we're going to put this in. This will go towards the back of your vehicle. Clip. Maybe clip. Maybe. Come on. There we go. That one's locked in. And then, oh, yeah, I got, this is enough room. So if you've ever had to strap down, Obviously, we're gonna have more room here for now. Now your strap gets to sit. Now your strap gets to sit straight to the ground. Look at that. Now you're locked in there. Okay, so there will be. Uh, yeah, and then a lot of times you'll put this back, obviously further. But for uh, yeah, for the time being, this shows you exactly how those work. Pretty slick, pretty easy. What I would run into with the Lambo is that the straps, anywhere you put them on the wheels, the straps wanted to come up because the car sits so low. I need to get the straps away. So by having a pivot point, which is right here, you could set this four feet back. And then it's out of your way, then your ratchet's not hitting your bumper. So that is, uh, that's my E-Track install. This is the E-Track straps I decided to use. And, uh, yeah, it's freaking sweet. It works out. Uh, it works out great. I'm excited to try these out to test them out. We'll have to get the car in here. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be doing a bunch more stuff on this trailer. Uh, and then check out the video. Um, actually, we probably haven't done the video yet. But I'm gonna do a video 
all about how to not lose money on a trailer when you buy them. Because you should never lose money on an enclosed trailer. If you buy right, you should always do good on a trailer by doing some simple maintenance stuff to them, cleaning them up, throwing some paint on them, and uh, yeah. So, until next time, peace. I think we got a really giver.